Um, my name is Dale McCants. I'm a base drag and cooling. Uh, we make an advanced cooling fluid. Um, increases the heat transfer and electronics cooling systems. Uh, true nano fluid. It's got nanoparticles in it and anti-air entrainment agents. Increases the heat transfer rates by as much as 20%, but typically in between 10 to 17%. Um, you can see here what we have is we have two identical systems. Um, this one here has got a typical uh, cooling block, a radiator, and a clear uh, pump a reservoir pump? combo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a flow meter. We use it for scientific purposes, so we're doing testing. We know the flow rates. We're not measuring the flow rate right now. Yeah. Most people, that won't come into play because they're just going to put it into the system. It's going to okay. flow whatever it flows. Um, that's just basically to see if there's differences in flow rates due to viscosity increases. But at high temperatures, there's next to none. Okay. Over here, we have the nano fluid. It's a white fluid straight out of the box, but we do make dyes and things that we can make it any color you like. Okay. okay some people like them red. We've had requests for blood red and black and all kinds of things like that. So nice. black is kind of tough because it's a yeah. white fluid. Yes. Um, but the reds and the blues and other yellows are easy to do. Okay, this is what the fluid looks like. It's white. Um, and if you if you look at the temperatures, yeah. what I'll say is each one of these are coming from the same one. If you took a Intel 980X. Um, high-end uh, processor, mm -hmm. it would be pulling it from out of the box if you're running a game about the same wattage as what we're putting into these copper blocks with these cartridge heaters. Yes, okay. Okay, about 190, 180 watts. Okay. Um, in this application, just with one CPU, you can see here that water over here is almost uh, 144, 144.6. I mean, 143.6. Right here, we're 139.5. Four, sometimes five. Degrees. Now, depending on what you're cooling, if you're cooling a CPU and a GPU, you'll see a bigger temperature difference. All right. Okay. That's what we have going over here. Uh, we've got a, a cooling of the CPU and a GPU, and we're not measuring the temperatures there, but with the heat load increased, you have a bigger temperature difference. Uh, one of the things I, I don't have going right now, but it enables you to reduce fan speed speed noise. Uh, right now is noise isn't an issue in here, yes, of course. and these fans are running at 12 volts, but if I were to turn the fans down, say to 9 volts, yes. and reduce their speed, this temperature difference will go up to 6 to 7 degrees. Okay, I thought about doing that, but I didn't want to run the systems too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? um, but, uh, so you can reduce the size of your radiators too. That's what we've done in some situations. You, instead of getting a big, thick radiator, you can get a small radiator that that um, fits in your case, doesn't take up so much room, a little bit less intrusive, but uh, the stuff works really well, and uh, we put a lot of energy and time into research and development.